we are going to determine if the series from 1 to infinity of 3n squared plus 2n plus 5 divided by 10n squared plus 5n plus 12 converges or diverges. And what we'll use is test for divergence. Now what is test for divergence? It should always be tried whenever first, whenever you encounter a series that you don't recognize say as a geometric series. So you should always try it because if from this test you determine the series diverges, there's really you solve the problem. There's nothing more to do. So here's what it says. Suppose we are considering a series from 1 to infinity a n and this doesn't have to start at 1, it could start at 5 or 0 or anywhere. And here's what the test says. It says if we take the sequence that determines the series, that is the sequence a n, we take the limit as n goes to infinity of that sequence and we get something other than 0. That is we could get for example 1 third or 5 or this, the limit may be undefined at all. Anything other than 0 we then immediately conclude that the series from 1 to infinity diverges. And that's what the test says. Now what it doesn't say and this is a very common mistake that students make in the beginning when they first learn about series. What it does not say if the limit n goes to infinity of a n does equal to zero the series converges. That is not true. So make sure you know that this is not true. What it does mean if the limit is zero the series may converge or it may diverge. We have to try something else but it does not mean that the series will automatically converge. So let's get back to the series that uh, we're working with. The series is the summation from 1 to infinity of 3n squared plus 2n plus 5 divided by 10n squared plus 5n plus 12 and we're going to evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of 3n squared plus 2n plus 5 divided by 10n squared plus 5n plus 12. Well you probably see already that this limit is going to be 3 over 10 but the formal way to do it is to look at the highest power of n in the numerator that's n squared same thing in the denominator so we're going to divide both numerator and denominator by n squared which gives us the following. This is limit n goes to infinity. 3n squared over n squared is 3. 2n over n squared is 2 over n plus 5 over n squared. And in the denominator we have 10 plus 5 over n plus 12 over n squared. Now as n goes to infinity 2 over n, 5 over n, 5 over n squared, 12 over n squared all go to 0 and this limit is 3 over 10. Well that's not 0 therefore by test for divergence this series will diverge. So once this limit is not 0 we immediately conclude that the series, we can rewrite it again, the summation from 1 to infinity of 3n squared plus 2n plus 5 divided by 10n squared plus 5n plus 12 diverges and you can state the reason why by the test for divergence. And that's the answer. For more videos